Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles and when I say here, we are at Lake Pleasant. We are near Phoenix, you can see some mountains in the background. Can't really actually see the lake, but it is absolutely there and I will be visiting it along with some wild donkeys a little later this morning. <laughs> So I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are doing lesson number 297, and the lesson is forgiveness is the only gift I give. Oh, we have a RV coming down the pike here. I don't know if this is too loud. I don't know if the wind will be too loud either. I guess I'll have to check and see. Maybe I'll have to do this again. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try, and uh, Maybe I'll use this video, maybe I won't. Forgiveness is the only gift I give. Forgiveness is the only gift I give because it is the only gift I want. And everything I give, I give myself. This is salvation's simple formula. And I, who would be saved, would make it mine to be the way I live within a world that needs salvation and that will be saved as I accept atonement for myself. Father, how certain are your ways, how sure their final outcome, and how faithfully is every step in my salvation set already and accomplished by your grace. Thanks be to you for your eternal gifts and thanks to you for my identity. Identity with a capital I. Forgiveness is the only gift I give. This is salvation's simple formula. Very, very good thing for us to think about. Hmm. I feel like something wants to be said here. <sighs> As I accept the atonement for myself. So I feel like forgiveness is the only gift I give. It's sort of tongue in cheek in a way about material gifts and the value that forgiveness holds compared to anything else that you could give another. But this idea of atonement, or if you slow it down a little, at one meant our oneness, our union with all other beings. When we live this lifestyle that's based in forgiveness, then we are really giving to ourselves because we're all one. So the, the atonement and forgiveness go together nicely. Salvation simple formula. <laughs> okay, let's see what a year of forgiveness has to say about lesson 297. It's so cute. Look at that gift that you could give. That ought to be an emoji. Forgiveness emoji. Okay. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one you know is Jesus. You have been told that you have to work hard to get what you want in the world. You have to struggle. You have to strive. You have to fight. There are so many things you have been taught in this world to get you what you want or to get what the ego wants. But truly, forgiveness will bring you peace and peace will bring you connection to guidance, which will take you on a journey that is more magnificent than you can imagine. Your guidance, once it comes in clear and true, because your mind has become peaceful, will show you the way. As you share your light throughout your journey, more and more will be given to you, not as payment, but because you have come to understand how creation works. You have come to understand that you are the projector. Therefore, anyone you encounter is a part of your mind. So attack, so to attack others or to take from others is foolish because you are essentially attacking and taking from yourself. That's coming back to that idea of the atonement. We're all one. In practicing forgiveness throughout your life, you are demonstrating your understanding of the laws of creation, which is that you literally are connected to everyone because they are characters in your dream. Your dream can be a nightmare when you attack yourself through attacking others, or your dream can become happy by treating everybody you meet as you would like to be treated. I am that one you know is Jesus, and we will speak to you again tomorrow. Forgiveness is the only gift I give. Interesting talking about gifts today. Today is my boyfriend's birthday, 
and <laughs> feel like forgiveness is the best gift to give. And I'll probably also be treating him to some other things today, but I feel like this will help me focus on the value and the importance of living this forgiveness mindedness um, as opposed to focusing on the material world or you know accomplishing something through um, more striving and struggle when in reality I want to be using forgiveness to gain momentum in the world through my consciousness so yeah you know focus on on all that bigger unseen stuff today as forgiveness being the gift that you give and give whatever you want to give I think there's this beauty in just from your heart thinking of someone and you know doing something for someone calling someone I mean you can give lots of gifts that are not material gifts so yeah taking that with you that forgiveness is the best gift to give in addition to any other unconditionally loving ways you want to show appreciation to yourself and to your brothers and sisters and all the other beings in your world. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow.